Direct contact with liquefied natural gas may turn a rubber boot into 100 icy particles and has the ability to dissolve a complete strip of metal. But what Russell Melanson, spokesperson for the Industrial Safety Training Council, wants Southeast Texans to know is that combating an LNG blaze is a breeze. We're going to put 6,000 gallons of LNG into an 8-foot deep pit and set it on fire, Melanson told a group of spectators before a special LNG demonstration at the Beaumont Emergency Service Training Complex Thursday. And uh, what we're trying to do here is dispel some of the myths about LNG and its properties uh, to show that uh, it's not as bad as what some people think it is. saying that he would rather encounter a turned over tanker of LNG than a tanker full of gasoline added that there may not have been instances in which LNG is created in an emergency situation. The stuff is not as bad as many people think, he said. We just simply do not have many cases in which LNG has caused an emergency situation. But we are here today to learn how to combat an emergency if the situation arose. Along with the fire demonstration, best firemen showed off their cool drink of water by pouring a five-gallon bucket of LNG onto the ground. Cold vapor is swept across the ground, but ultimately harmed nothing. A rubber boot left in the LNG pit, however, could not boast such a pleasant ending. A firefighter struck the frosty boot with a hammer only three times before hundreds of icy particles littered the ground, and a steel beam left in the pit too long was completely dissolved by the chill, leaving behind only the rope once tied to a beam dangling in the wind. Good job, well done.